Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition but before we get on to today's one guys we need to go over the results of the previous competition which was the uh, Kepler 138D uh, Gas Dwarf uh, competition so just looking at the results here we actually had a tie once more so we had to go to a tiebreaker it was uh, five votes between uh, RXD and uh, Mr. Mr. Lock well you have to minus one off because I have to vote for all of them just for the discord stuff so uh, yeah we had four votes for both of those guys but yeah moving on to the tiebreaker uh, Eric XD did take the win nine to five um, in the end. So congrats to him um, for his uh, win. So here was his object right here. So this, yeah, we are. So this was our winner from last week, and yeah, we had Mr. Missilot's one over here that um, was uh, second place and that lost out in the uh, tiebreaker. So yeah, there are those two objects. And again, a massive thank you to everyone last week for sending um, their objects in. And yeah, last week's one was a good one. Really, really enjoyed um, all the objects in there. But now, moving on to today's competition. So if we just go ahead and uh, remove those. Oh, Mr. Mr. Son survived. Right. So today we're going to be doing another gas dwarf kind of object here. But yeah, we're going to be doing a sulfur gas dwarf. And I've given it like a yellowy sulfury sort of background um, for today as well. So yeah, sulfur gas dwarf. That is what we are going to be doing. So let's see what you guys have submitted in here. So if I just search up comp. Okay. Now, oh, I've got some yellows in here. I was expecting to see some yellows. So right. Let's see what we have got. So first object of the day we have got astronomy geek he's a new person to this i don't i don't think we've had an object from him before unless it's someone who's changed the name but yeah astronomy geek let's see what they are prepared for us here so sulfur gas dwarf here we go let's zoom down on it obviously we're quite small if we just look at the radius briefly yeah it's not even the size of an earth but yeah color wise that is a very nice mix of greens and blues i gotta say that is a i like that that is a very very nice looking object there with the mixes of the greens the blues that is gorgeous i really like that so yeah, very nice uh, job to him on his uh, first ever submission, I'm guessing, unless he did change his name. So yeah, there is Astronomy Geek's um, object. Right, now moving on, we have got Core. Let's see what he has prepared for us today. Whoa, okay, this gas dwarf's a little bigger. Right, so let's go ahead and place it in. Right, here we go. Right, so it's got like volcanic sort of grey coloured clouds with these bright orange bands on it. Look at that, right. Let's just get a full look of it. Very, I really, I, I do like the grey mix with the orange, I have to say. It gives it that sort of like volcanic, sulfuric so sort of look to it i've got to say I, I like it i like the two big bands it kind of gives me like a jupiter vibe like a colored jupiter in the way of all its bands but we can see there's a lot of different grays and oranges all mixed in if we look at the appearance you can see yeah, there's a big load of different objects mixed in at this bottom we've got a lot more darker colors as we can see very nice indeed so there is cause object awesome stuff right next up we have got siren's object here so let's see what he has prepared for us let's just go ahead and uh, place that down here okay so we've got a uh, lots of different shades of yellows in here sort of pale sand yellows oranges nice mix of um obviously sulfuric sort of colors so yeah there they all are there very nice indeed yeah i like the blending of all the different yellows and stuff in there sandy yellow more like dark yellow or a bit of olive sort of yellow in there as well and very nice mixes um indeed of color there so there is um siren's one Right, now moving on. Oh, wait. Comp. Let's put that in again. Right, comp. Next up, we've got Error XD. Apologies if I scrap your name once more. So here we go. Here is his object. So he's gone for a Rocky-based um, object, as we can see here. So Gas Dwarf SO2. And I believe he had some sort of backstory behind this. Let me just see if I can find it. Because there was two of the guys who sent, like, a little backstory with their objects here. So let me just go ahead and find the chat for it. Okay, so, okay. so here's what he said. Right, so he says that this gas dwarf has a sulfur dioxide atmosphere and orbits the star far from its habitable zone. But the dense atmosphere basically traps all of the heat. It has an ocean below the thick atmosphere, right? Okay. So if we look underneath, uh, oh, we have to have the clouds as well. Okay, so it has a, o a, a water ocean below the thick atmosphere that reacted with the sulfur dioxide to make H2SO3, also known as sulfuric acid. Right, which is um, also what the clouds are made of. So that's similar to sort of Venus in some um, some regards there. Um, it has some life forms that never go beyond the sea thanks to the crushing pressures except microbes. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of like that recent Venus discovery of like the possible microbes in the atmosphere and stuff. I like this. This is cool. Right, so um, microbes, um, some of the um, some of which metabolize sulfur dioxide and release some oxygen, which turn oxygenates the oceans. These microbes are responsible for keeping the underwater creatures alive. Okay, so they sort of take in that and then release that oxygen. That's a pretty cool backstory. I like that. So, yeah, there is his object. So, yeah, that ocean got some oxygen hidden in there, all hidden under these sulfuric clouds. And then, obviously, the clouds and then the atmosphere on top there. So, it's almost like an ocean world version of Venus, but a little more friendly, the temperature. 
that's cool i like that very very nice um backstory to it so there is um era xd's gas to warfare very nice really really like the um the rocky planet usage as well i think that's quite cool right next up we have got this object here so this is d munix object let's see what he has placed in all righty so we can see a similar sort of build to what era xd is but we've got a very very vibrant yellow here that is looking pretty awesome indeed as well right so if we have a look here zoom in on it see the yellow is very very strong and bright very uh very bright and glowy that is cool right so if we look underneath as well let's see what we've got under here so this one is all blacked out well, very scary underneath right looks like it's got a tint to it as well you can see a sort of yellow tint on it so yeah very interesting stuff it is a rocky planet is this an ocean oh well i think I, i've broken it oops a daisy so it did have like some tinted um black ocean but i'm guessing that's not really gonna change much apart from the clouds when we had it because it's still the same visually even without that but yeah, it had some sort of um, interesting tint or something going on below um, which is pretty cool so yeah there is his sulfuric um, gas dwarf there so that is that's really cool I like that right moving on so we have got Tiss Pole's object as well. And he's also put a backstory for his one. So we've got a third rocky object with um, clouds and atmosphere on it here. Right. So he, for this one, okay. So this one's got a custom name. So it's um, Hepa Aestus. I'm sorry if I'm scrapping that. Um, a ferro sulfuric gas dwarf. It is shrouded with a thick atmosphere of CO and CO2 and volatile sulfur compound, as well as some high altitude water vapor clouds. Okay, you can see the sort of, I think they're white clouds under there. I'll have to have a look in a minute. Um, with the occasional ash cloud due to the volcanism on the surface. Yes, the vol volcanoes everywhere here. Right. Um, which you can just see through the thick atmosphere on the night side. Right, night side. Okay, so we need to go to. Uh, no, the studio no we want to go to directional so that yes you can see the surface at night yeah there you go okay that's cool right so yeah you can see the surface at night if you look underneath the atmosphere and clouds you can find an ocean of pure liquid sulfur covering most of the planet right so has he like tinted the ocean color let's have a look oh okay liquid water color look at that okay so the liquid water it's actually the red air. So if we turn the water on and off, and where, where's the where's the water button? No. Uh, liquid water colors this one though, so you can see the area I'm changing. Oh, actually, where whereabouts is the? I'm trying to just trying to locate. No, it's the high elevation I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the uh, oceans themselves. Is it? Is it got? It has got oceans. Let's just try and increase them. I just want to see if I can try and find them. Oh, they're not showing up at the moment. Okay, that's weird. Oh, oh, okay, so it's meant to look like that. Okay, so let's just try and work out how it's supposed to look because something may not have gone right. Okay, so... Okay, it's meant to look something like this. Okay, so if we just put the um, other stuff back on. So, yeah, you, you... Can you see it from behind? No, you can't, so you do have to um, lower all that. It's also a city light, so I don't think I... I didn't click them, did I? So it has um, something like this, and I think I may have... Actually, let's just spawn a fresh one because I, I did change it, didn't I? So let's just... Yes, fresh one in. Uh, quickly just uh, remove that. Uh, head to it like so right appearance right i'm not going to change the water color on it but let's just add and okay so yeah it's a more of a darker red okay so i did uh okay so it's meant to look something like this i'm guessing so yeah look at that that does actually look really cool right so yeah just going back to what he said if you look underneath you find an ocean of pure pure liquid sulfur covering most of the planet this kind of reminds me of the space engine the space engine red oceans actually which is quite cool covering most of the planet as well as continents of iron silicate rocks covered in iron sulfur minerals such as pyrite and um hematite i believe is how you say that so yeah there we go really really like the red oceans i think the best way to view it is probably from this angle very nice indeed so obviously if we add uh, all that back on yeah you can you can just about see those oceans you can see yeah there you go there's a better view so if you uh yeah so even at night time you can see the oceans but you just have to look carefully. You need to know where they are. But yeah, awesome stuff. So there is his um, world here. So he Hepo A Aestus. Yeah, apologies for scrapping that because I completely butchered that. Um, but yeah, moving on now. So go back to uh, studio mode. Awesome stuff. Right now, who have we got next? Okay, so next up we got Mr. Missalot. So let's see what he has prepared for us here. So another sulfur. Okay, that looks different from the picture, or does it? Okay, right. Let's see what he's got here. Right. So let's, uh, let's just rotate it around so we can get a good look of it. Okay, so there we go. Right. So if we just uh, turn that off. Okay, so we start off in the south here. We've got whites, greys, obviously some black bands mixed in there. So whites, greys, blacks, uh, grayscale colours. And if we move into the middle, we've got a little more of like a dark sort of pale red. 
mixed in with the greys. And then if we go to obviously the higher area in the north here, we can see it's just full of oranges, yellows, volcanic colours. And then the north, it looks like a different planet. I mean, if you look this way to that way, it doesn't even look like the same planet. How cool is that? That is, that is really awesome. So yeah, there is Mr. Missilot's world. But yeah, we'll go over a recap before we uh, finish up. So heading all the way back to the start here. So at the beginning, we had Astronomy Geek's world here with a nice mix of green. The only planet to feature are greens and blues. All the other ones are yellows, oranges, and blacks and greys and stuff like that. But this is the only one to feature greens and blues. Looking very nice indeed. So there was his world. Then moving on. The next one was Core's object here. So the gas giant with the uh, greys and the oranges on it there. Like this one. Looking very good as well. So there was his one. Then we had... Uh, this was Siren's one, wasn't it? So we'll just go back to... Um, yep, Siren's one. Yep, so Siren was the next one. So here is his world here. So I had a nice different mix of uh, yellows, oranges, sandy colours in there as well. So there's his world. Then we had um, Era XD's world here. This was one of the ones with the backstory as well. So yeah, I really like the backstory. So yeah, nice job to um, him and Tispole for the backstories makes. I do like that. It's cool to see the little backstory um, for some of the objects. So yeah, very nice idea there. And yeah, this one had the ocean below it as well. So just a quick little peek. So there was the ocean underneath. So yeah, looking good. And then moving on. So we had the next world here. So this was... Um, the Munix one, yep, so here was the Munix one, so it was like a, a more enhanced yellow version of um, Era XD's one here, but this one didn't have an ocean, it had like a weird tin underneath, which made it quite spooky, which I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, there was his, and then um, next up we had Tiss Poles one, so let's just quickly uh, hover over it, so uh, again, similar to the previous two of a different shade, and yeah, different backstory um, with it as well, with those really, really nice looking red oceans. So we'll just have a little peek at the red oceans once more. So there you go, there it is, looking awesome indeed. Alrighty, and then lastly, we had Mr. Mislot's world here. So this was the one that looks, yeah, looks like a completely different planet on both sides of the spicy oranges and red here. And then on the, you'll see in the middle, it goes to um, the grayscale colours at the bottom there. So yeah, there we are. So let's just get a lineup of all the objects before we uh, finish up now. So obviously, you're going to need to make the two, um, two of the bigger ones a lot smaller. So let's put them to uh, a little under half, I guess. It's just a little tad smaller. There we are. And then uh, this one as well. Just quickly just half it down. Uh, and then you just... I need to do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Let's just uh, have them all lined up there. We'll make this one um, a tad bigger, actually. Uh, that was a little too big, so let's just, uh, let's just put them all there. There we go. Right, so there is the full lineup. And I think Cyrus one actually needs. So, yeah, we had three rocky worlds, and then four of them were just in, um, gas giants. So, yeah, a nice mix of two different um, object types here. So, we've got the rocky planets with the very intense atmospheres on them, since they are gas dwarfs. And then we've got, like, the regular uh, classic gas giant theme as well. So, yeah, guys. Good luck to everyone in the votes. I'm very, very interested to see how this turns out. And i got to say, I think this has got to be one of my favourite, one, probably one of the best competitions. I really, really like this idea. So, yeah, the Sulfuric Gas Dwarf. Awesome stuff. Really, really, um, really enjoyed it, filming this. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and checking out each other's objects as well. I've got to say, yeah, it's got to be one of my favourites that I have filmed so far for this series. So, yeah, that all said and done, guys. Uh, good luck to everyone in the votes as well. I'll be setting that vote up right after I film this, actually. So, yeah, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description if you want to take part in the voting for these object competitions. And, again, a good luck to everyone. And a massive thank you to everyone who sent their objects in as well. Yeah, pleasure to view all the objects and show them off like this. And, yeah, good luck again on the competition and yeah guys if you enjoyed today's video let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's uh gas dwarf um sulfuric gas dwarf competition guys and yeah if you've got any ideas for future objects let me know uh, down below um in the comments or in my discord for what we could do next and yeah after all said and done guys make sure to subscribe if you're new helps on journey to 19,000 subscribers now oh that is crazy so yeah massive thank you again for 18 yeah make sure to subscribe uh and yeah leave a like see if we can go for 30 and yeah that all said and done guys enough of me rambling on make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video Goodbye.